Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire and Terra. I hope everyone is well. Oh, it's one o'clock in the afternoon, Eastern Standard Time. Is it standard or daylight? I don't know. I think it's standard time right now. I get those mixed up all the time. Long story short, I didn't get the entire Zodiac Wheel done by noon. I'm not surprised. Um, things came up yesterday couldn't do very much yesterday. I've been busting balls this morning trying to get all of these up. It's just not going to happen. Capricorn, you are my last reading of the day. My fixed sign, friends. I apologize. You will get done in the morning. It is what it is. I'm sorry. I have horrible time management skills, and I will be the first one to admit that it is something I'm trying to transcend. This reading will be for Capricorn, Sun and Rising Venus for the first half of June. If it resonates with you, okay. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it does resonate, sorry, if it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. It's general reading, it might not. So check the moon rising or Venus sign readings. Catch something that might resonate a little bit better. Or I do offer personal readings for a reasonable price. The information on how to get one of those is in the description of this video as well as the about section of the channel so oh and that's along with a disclaimer please read all right enough jibber jabber capricorn what's going on for the first half of june jibber jabber jibber jabber as soon as i'm done with you guys i have to get in the shower and fly to the bread and butter job so we're going to get this done. Why are you here? Wheel of Fortune in the upright. Something's closing out. Times are changing. It's on the upside by the looks of things. That can't be terrible, but we'll see what the rest of the cards have to say. How you feel about the person you're dealing with, the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse? Hey, it's just not sprouting. There's just something about it. It's just, it's not taken off. Not quite sure what it is. We might throw a clarifier on it. We might not. So let's keep going. What you think of this person? Justice in the reverse might be a Libra you're dealing with. Could be any of the fixed signs. Uh, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, or Leo. Mm, something not quite balanced about them. Maybe you think that they're not a very fair person. Okay. Oh, pardon the glare. This is what keeps my headaches away at this point. I'm going to the eye doctor as soon as they open back up. Uh, what do you want from them? Sun card in the upright. You want that connection. You, you want the happiness. You want it to be felt on both sides. Might be a Leo you're dealing with. Hmm. How do they feel about you? Three of swords. Bummer. What do they think of you? Hermit in the reverse. They think you could be overthinking something. Very isolated. What do they want from you? Two of Wands. They want you to let go of something and move forward. They feel there's something... You're at a crossroads. They want you to let something go and move forward. Could be let go of them. Could be let go of an issue. Clarity. What's the blockage in this connection? Five of Swords. Hmm. Picking at pieces after a battle. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Upward swing of events. Something not taken off. Something not balanced. You want happiness. You bum them out. You're self-isolated. 
picking up pieces. Okay. What needs to be done? Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Letting go. Letting go. Moving forward. Okay. This could be a strictly karmic connection. Clarity, clarity, clarity. Yeah, I like the Gilded deck. We're going to go with that. Hmm. Okay, Capricorn. Source and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards and the tickets for Capricorn for the first half of June, please? <sighs> Let's get specific. Why is the Ace of Pentacles reversed here? Tower reversed. not taking off because the dust is settling from something else. Okay. Why is justice reversed here? Nine of Wands reversed. Vulnerability. One more. Imbalanced. Not fair. You, they think you got nothing left. Four of Wands reversed. Page of Cups. Indecisive. You're saying it, but you're not showing it. Or they're not showing it. They say it, but they don't show it. It's not steady. It's not stable. Why is the sun card here? Hi, you doing? Chariot and the Devil. The Cancer and Capricorn have popped out. Okay. You want the connection. You want the happiness. You want the sun to shine. You want them to distance themselves. Distance. No, one more. Because distance isn't making making distance isn't making sense with the devil. Thanks. Three of Pentacles. You want to lay the foundation. You want it to come together. You want it. You want to be mutually felt with the passion, and you want the forward movement.
Okay. It goes back to you want him to say it and show it. Someone may be a little bit indecisive here. Why is the Three of Swords here? Don't everybody talk at once. Six of Swords. They feel like you're heartbroken. They feel like your thoughts are not with them. Why the Six of Swords reversed? Holy Moses, don't everybody talk at once. Ten of Wands reversed, Six of Cups reversed, Seven of Wands. They see you as wanting to control the flow. Potentially having something you need to get off your chest. You're heartbroken. Your thoughts are with someone else. Something left. Bad memories. I'm hearing bad memories. You want to control it. This might not be their dust. It might be yours. And maybe your pieces that need to be picked up. Sometimes we th see things that aren't there in our own lives when we're picking apart somebody else's. Why is the Hermit reversed here? Six of Pentacles. You think you're balanced, you're fair, you're generous. But I think you don't feel the connection. You're self-isolating from something. If you put yourself in that little box, you definitely can't see your own dust. Why is two of wands here? Five of wands reversed. They don't want to fight about it. I want to end a confrontation. Star reversed. Why the star reversed? Emperor. I want you to let go of something, get back in the saddle then. They don't want to fight about it. There's a healing that hasn't taken place that needs to. Why the Five of Swords? They want you to let something go, Capricorn. I think they want the forward movement too, but they could be in their own damn box and not seeing their own damn issues. Ten of Cups reversed. The Five of Swords is here. Somebody's just playing not fucking happy. This brings us back to this could be a karmic connection. Karmic connections are beautiful. It's the soulmates that come into your life to teach you something about yourself. That you didn't already know. 
to shed the hermit's light. I think someone's not seeing the hermit's light because they're in a damn box. It's covered up with a bunch of dust and rubble. Why the Four of Pentacles reversed. Okay, thank you. Reading. Shut the door. Click the like button and hit the freaking subscriber. <laughs> Kids! I love you. And join. Okay, I love you. You beautiful. Okay, I love you. Valen, stop. Valen! Mm. Why is the four pentacles reversed here? I'm sorry about that. He, he likes to pop in. He's a YouTube junkie. Somebody needs to let something go. Process sadness. What comes up must come down. What goes down must come back up again. It is the balance of the universe. Things cannot always suck. It's not how things work. It's not always bad. Something beautiful and good is going to come out of this. Because you're going to see in the mirror what you couldn't see. I love it when karmic soulmates come into your life to clean your damn mirror off. That, that's amazing. This is beautiful, Capricorn. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Maybe somebody just needs to have a good cry. Outcome. Prince of Cups. Can I get a clarifier in the Prince Cups, please? <sighs> the Prince of Cups, don't just disregard the sex of the card. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. This person's handing you a gift. And they may have just come in to your life to hand you a gift. Sorry. Got distracted there for a second. I'm going to have to return that call as soon as we're done here. Why the Prince of Cups? Ace of Wands. It's a gift of a new start. It's a gift of finding your passion again. It's a gift of an upward turn of events. That's fucking beautiful. Queen of Cups reversed, death reversed. If you continue to emotionally close yourself off, change cannot come. If you do not allow an old cycle to die, new cycles can't allow you to be born again. You have to allow those emotions to flow. Good ones, bad ones. The Princess of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Yes, that wand. She's holding that wand. And that wand is the key to this. 
self-worth and self-love. You have to allow it to happen. Allow the wheel of fortune to spin. And whatever will come, will come. Whatever will be, will be. But you will be better for it. Good grief. The magician in the upright and the four of pentacles in the reverse. <laughs> you have the power to manifest whatever you want into your life. You have the power to manifest beautiful things. It's all about perspective and how you look at it. You have to see the good and the bad. And sometimes we have to let baggage go. For that to happen, we have to allow for the change. One more. Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Hmm. This may just be a handy little tidbit of advice. I'm not sure what this has to do with this, but I'm going to throw it out there anyway. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with the universe. And always get all the information. I don't know who that's resonating with, but dig a little deeper to find the truth. Okay, Capricorn, this has been your reading for the first half of June. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. If it, you feel so compelled, I'm not going to twist your arm. If you want to know when I upload again, well, you got to subscribe to do that and hit the notification bell. So, you know, again, whatever you want to do. I'm available for personal readings. We already went over that. You know where to find me. And I will catch you guys on Friday for the weekend top and bottom of the deck reading. Love you to bits. Love and light. I'll catch you later.